Hi everyone, and welcome to SIC Forex. I hope everyone is having a successful trading week. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. This video will explore how to make money trading Forex online. Let's start with what is Forex trading. Forex trading is the process of speculating on currency price to potentially make a profit. The idea behind buying currency is straightforward. If you believe that a currency's value will rise, you buy it with another currency. If you think a currency's value will fall, you sell it. Even placing a trade in the forex market is a simple process. The mechanics of a trade are very similar to those found in other financial markets like the stock market. Trading Forex is electronic and online and the Forex market is open 24 hours a day and 5 days a week, only closing down during the weekend. Let's look at an example. On my MetaTrader platform, we have the Euro USD on the 1 hour chart. I start by using a top-down analysis on the higher time frame by drawing a trend line connecting the lower lows on the chart. So drawing a trend line is something we'll discuss in our future videos. So connecting the lower lows, we see an uptrend on the one hour. Next, I'm moving to the 15 minutes and we see a big gap up in the market when the trading week started. If you were holding a trade, a sell trade from Friday, you would be in significant drawdown. Next, I'm going to add our first indicator. I'm going to select indicator, trend, and I'm going to select moving average indicator for the chart. The period, I'm going to change to 200, and the moving average method, I'm going to be selecting exponential. Now we have our trend line and moving average confirming an uptrend in the market. Next, on our lower time frame, I'm going to find support and resistance zones using smart money concept. The Euro USD formed a double bottom from the support zone and then went up towards our next resistance zone and came back to test it again. So that is our resistance zone that we tested. And if he's looking at a breakout trade, you'll see that it broke out from the resistance and the breakout is already running 25 pips. Let's take a closer look at my entry. I bought 0 0.01 euros at the euro USD exchange rate of 1.00898. And I am currently running 40 pips in profit. I placed a buy stop close to the resistance so that it can be triggered by breaking that zone. So I used a top down analysis with support and resistance and a breakout from that specific zone. For those of you that are new to MetaTrader, I'm going to show the same trade on tradingview.com and let's take a look at the results on my trading view chart I have marked the support and resistance zones identified earlier next I'm going to add my entry point where I bought my euro USD for this example I'm using a stop loss of 50 and a take profit of a hundred pips always aim for a higher than a one to two risk to reward when trading. The final result of this example is that the trade made $10.26 in only two hours of trading using a lot size of 0 0.01. We'll be discussing lot size and margin in the next video, but for example, if the lot size was one lot, the trade would have made $1,026 in just two hours. Because Forex is so awesome, 
traders have come up with a number of different ways to invest or speculate in currencies. Among the financial instruments, the most popular ones are retail forex, spot forex, currency futures, currency options, currency exchange traded funds or EFTs, forex CFDs and forex spread betting. Next, we are going to take a closer look at how to read a forex quote. Currencies are always quoted in pairs. The reason they are quoted in pairs is that in every forex transaction, you are simultaneously buying one currency and selling another. If you buy our Euro USD, like in the example, you buy Euro and sell USD. Forex bears always have a base and a quote currency. The first listed currency on the left of the slash is known as the base currency, in the example, the euro. The base currency is the reference element for the exchange of the currency pair and always has a value of 1. The second list in currency on the right is called the quote currency, in this example the US dollar. If you buy Euro USD, it simply means that you are buying the base currency and simultaneously selling the quote currency. Next, let's take a closer look at the bid and ask price in Forex trading. On your MetaTrader platform, we have both bid and ask price displayed for the pair. The bid price is the price at which your broker is willing to buy the base currency in exchange for the quote currency. This means the bid is the best available price at which you can sell to the market. The ask price is the price at which your broker will sell the base currency in exchange for the quote currency. This means the ask price is the best available price at which you can buy from the market. Another word for ask is the offer price. On our MetaTrader 4 platform, by right click to open a new order, or by simply pressing F9, this will display the tick data for both these ask and bid prices. The red line is the bid price, which is the best available price to sell to the market. The blue line is the ask price, is the best available price to buy from the market. The difference between these two prices is known as the spread. The spread is one of the ways brokers make money from Forex trading. The spread is constantly changing as the difference between the bid and the ask price changes. Always check your spreads as they can vary between different account types and broker to broker. And during news events, you will see dramatic changes in the spread. In a nutshell, how does Forex trading work? Firstly, you should determine whether you want to buy or sell a currency pair. Forex trading involves trying to predict which currencies will rise or fall versus another. Now, are you wondering how do you know whether to buy or sell a currency pair? Traders use multiple different types of analysis to determine when to buy or sell, including technical analysis like we used for the trade at the beginning of the video, fundamental analysis which involves analyzing the economies, of the countries involved and sentiment analysis. We will cover each of these types of analysis in a later lesson. In the next video, part three, we'll be exploring lot size, margin and leverage and how this affects the money you are able to make trading Forex. This means we'll take a deeper look at how your lot sizing, leverage and margin affects your trading. For more content, please like, comment and subscribe. See you next time. Happy trading. Bye.